Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to solve this beautiful math Olympiad equation. And at the end, I'm going to teach you how to check for your solution. So let's do it together. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. It helps us to serve you best. To do this, we're going to have, so we have solution. Now, what do you do? Observe that what you are giving, this five is repeated and the operation is multiplication. So just remember this rule of exponent that says for every a to the power of m multiplied by this, because the bases are the same and there is multiplication, you just need to add the powers, okay? Just take one of the bases and then add the powers. Now let's apply it at the left side to now have. So we just pick one of it. So we have five to the power of x, obeying this, okay so we add the three powers did you see that and it's equal to 60. now what do you do next we simplify to have five and this it gives you three x is equal to 60. what do you do at this point just remember this okay each time you have a to the power of m raised to power m it is a to the power of m m the powers you multiply now let's see how this helps us here. Just remember that this can be written as five to the power of three raised to power x. So that when you multiply this, it gives you back this, obeying this. So nothing has changed and this is equal to 60. So remember that five to the power of three is five multiplied three times to give us 125. So this is giving us 125 to the power of x is equal to 60. Now at this point, you just need to take the log of both sides so that I can get the value of x, okay? Take log of both sides. So this is giving us log of 125 to the power of x is equal to log of 60. Simplifying further, just remember this rule. For every log of a to the power of x, the power multiplies, so it gives you x log a. So this is going to be another guide. So applying it here, we are going to have x log 125 is equal to log of 60. To get your x is multiplying, so you divide both sides, okay? So divide this also by log of 125. So this and this can cancel out. So you have x is equal to log of 60 divided by log of 125. Did you see that? Now don't be too quick to leave your answer like this. This is not simplified yet. So to reduce this, you're going to leave our answer in prime product form. Just see what you will do. Just remember that 60 is the same as 2 goes in 30 times, 2 goes here 15 times, 3 goes 5, and 5 goes in itself once. Now, it means that x will give us 60. You see that 2 is repeated 2 times. So we're going to have log of 2 to the power of 2 is multiplied by 3 is multiplied by 5. When you multiply this, it gives you back 60. And this is divided by log of Remember, 125 from here is 5 to the power of 3. I hope you are with me. Now, what do you do again? You just need to remember also that for every log of AB, it is the same as log of A plus log of B. Multiplication turns to addition. So we are going to apply it at the numerator to half. So this gives us X is equal to log of, this will be 2 to the power of 2 obeying this plus log of 3 plus log of 5 all are divided by log of 5 to the power of 3 interesting now this denominator is to divide each of the numerators okay so this will give us x is equal to log of 2 to the power of 2 divided by log of 5 to the power of 3 plus log of 3 divided by log of 5 to the power of 3 plus log of 5 divided by log of 5 to the power of 3. So what do you think we should do again? Just remember what we stated here. So in that case, these two multiplies. So we have x is 2 log 2 
divided by 3 log 5, okay? I hope you are with me. Plus log of 3 divided by 3 log 5 plus log of 5 divided by 3 log 5. Now simplifying this again, we have x is equal to, this will give us 2 third of log of 2 divided by log of 5, okay? Plus, now here the coefficient of this log is 1. So we're going to have 1 third of log of 3 divided by log of 5, okay? Plus, coefficient is 1 here, and this can cancel that the same. Did you see that? So we're going to have 1 third. I hope you are with me. Now, simplifying this, remember also that for every log of A divided by log of B, it is log of A base B, okay? Apply this and simplify further. X is going to give us, so we're going to have 2 third using this here, okay? We are going to have log of 2 base 5. I hope you are with me, plus one third of log of three base five, okay? Then plus one third. Rearranging this to look more beautiful, x will give us one third plus two third of log of two base five plus one third of log of three base five. Now looking at this, you observe that this is the simplified form of a x so this becomes our value of x now let's plug this x value at the left side of the equation to see if it gives us 60 it's just so easy to do that we are going to have so to check you observe that this is the same and is repeated so what you are going to do is we are going to use one five to the power of x put in this value okay then when we are done we multiply out and see if it gives us 60. So let's do that together. So we're going to have check, okay? So let's take five to the power of X. Now this is giving us five. Our X is this. So we have one third plus two third of log of two base five plus one third of log of three base five. Remember that these are parts of this five, okay? So what do you do? You just need to remember the rule we stated at the beginning that for every a to the power of m plus n it is a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n this is just a reversal so you see that this is of this form we are taking it into this now so what do you do we are going to have five to the power of one third this will now turn to multiplication did you see so we have two third of log of two base five multiplied by 5 to the power of one third of log of 3 base 5. Now what do you do next? You just need to remember this rule that says for every a log b base a, it is always equal, provided the base of the log and the general base are the same, it is equal to b. So let's use this to simplify this to now have. Observe carefully that for you to use this rule, the coefficient of the log must be 1. And what you have here, this is 2 third, this is 1 third. So what do you do? You just need to remember that for every time you have coefficients, a number before the log, that becomes the power of the next number. So we're going to have it as, so this gives us 5 to the power of 1 third multiplied by 5 to the power of log of 2. This coefficient becomes a power of this number. So we have to third. Did you see? Then base five is multiplied by five. This becomes the power, okay? So we have five to the power of log of three to the power of one third, then base five. At this point, you can apply this because the coefficients are now one. So this gives us five to the power of one third multiplied by for this the basis are the same coefficient is one so your number is going to be two to the power of two third i hope you are still with me there then this is multiplied by this and this are the same so we have three to the power of one third now what do you do to simplify again 
you just need to remember that for every a b to the power of m it is a to the power of m then b to the power of m they both share the same powers so what do we do you observe that these two powers are the same so we can make them to share the same power to have 5 multiplied by 3 is raised to the power of m one third so amazing then it's multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. So what do you do? Multiply this, it gives you 15 to the power of 1 third multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. So this is what we got for having 5 to the power of x. Did you see? So what do you do now? Remember, this is repeated. So we're going to put in the whole values. So we're going to have, for the first, this is what we have. Okay, so we replace now to now have 15 to the power of 1 third multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. That is for the first one. I hope you are with me. Multiplied by the second one. Repeat this. So we have 5 to the power of 1 third multiplied by this is multiplied by 15 1 third multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. So let's simplify this to now see if it gives us 60. So gather like powers together. We have 15 to the power of 1 third. This one is multiplied by 15 1 third. Then we have 15 to the power of 1 third. I hope you are with me. Is multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. Multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 third. And finally, 2 to the power of 2 third. So let's gather them. Remember that these are multiplying, okay? Just remember this. I hope you've not forgotten. So we are going to use it to now have. You observe that the basis are the same and they are multiplying. So this is what we use. So we have 15. Take the pairs, add them together, okay? So we have this. Then it's multiplied by, for this, the pairs are the same, the basis are the same. Still use this. So we have 2 to the power of 2 third plus 2 third plus 2 third. Amazing! Now what do you do? This gives us 15. Add this. The basis, the denominators are the same. So add the numerators. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. Did you see that? It's multiplied by 2 to the power of. Add this. They are the same denominators. So 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 6. And is divided by the denominator 3. So this gives us 15. When you divide the number by itself is 1. This is multiplied by 2. Divide this, it gives us 2. Did you see that? So we now have 5 to the power of 1. If 15 to the power of 1 is 15. And 2 to the power of 2 is 2 multiplied 2 times to give us 4. And when you multiply 15 by 4, it gives us 60. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. So in conclusion, we have that. So the value of x being 1 third plus 2 third log of 2 base 5 plus 1 third log of 3 base 5 is absolutely what? Correct. And I hope you really learned a lot. Let us know how much in the comments. It helps us to serve you best. Don't forget to share this so that others will learn the skills with this plate. If this helps you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tips. I'll see you in our next class. Till then, bye-bye.